In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a new hard drive. And now there are two kinds these days with technology changing the way it is. You either have a SATA, which uses this kind of cable, or a parallel IDE, which uses this kind of cable. I'm going to show you how to do both. Now both drives appear the same. They're both three and a half inches, and they both look about the same. So how do you tell the difference? Well, the parallel has all these teeth in here with jumper settings and this big hookup for power. The SATA is more compact and just has these two weird connectors and you just put one for power and one for data. Check your owner's manual to see which drive you have. That way you don't go out and buy the wrong one and have to return it. SATA, SATA is the new technology. It's widely accepted and it's pretty much what is installed on all systems these days. It has a smaller cable which is easier to work with and it's faster. Kinda looks like this, very strange. Little easy cable to deal with though. You find the hole, this computer has four of them right here. You plug it in to the motherboard and then you just take the same plug and go right into your hard drive and now you have to find the power coming from the power supply and it should look just like this if you can see that and it goes right in the back and voila your cables are hooked up find the spot where you want to put it inside your computer and screw it in and you have yourself a new drive now, if you have an older computer, that doesn't mean you can't upgrade your drive. You're just going to have to use a different type of, of hard drive. See, here are your IDE connectors, which are parallel instead of serial like the new ones. They run on a different ribbon cable such as this. They run on a different ribbon cable such as this here, and you can hook up two devices to one input. Make sure you check your drive for jumper settings, because if you have a master or a slave, it has to be wired right, or it will not be recognized. In this case, we only have one drive in the slot, so we just plug in, plug it into your drive, make sure there are no jumpers in because it's your only drive so it's a master, so you don't want any jumpers, power it up with the power supply, find a slot for it, slide it on in, screw it in, and turn your computer on, and voila, you have a new hard drive. 